Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this book of James and what you are giving us as we journey through this book. Please help us to be good stewards of what we learn from your book with our heads bowed and our eyes closed right where you sit. I would like to ask you again, are you really a Christian? Or have you just had an intellectual faith, a head faith that says, well, I believe in the historical Jesus. No, that's not good enough. I'm asking you, do you know him? Have you committed to him your eternity? Have you gotten in the wheelbarrow? I want you to know that right where you sat this morning in your heart, you can believe in Jesus Christ. You can say, yes, God, I know I am a sinner, as your Bible says. I know there's a penalty on sin, as your book says. And I know that Jesus Christ came from eternity and he took upon himself humanity and he lived that sinless life and he went to the cross and there he bore my sins and my sins are paid for in Christ and in Christ alone I trust I receive him what happened to John Wesley can happen to you you can know Jesus Christ Personally, you can know him. You can begin a relationship with Jesus Christ today. And you can know, yes, I know. For God says there are two kinds of people in the world. Those who have life and those who do not have life. When you receive Jesus Christ, you have his life given to you. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I want you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ more than anything else. I desire that for you. I want you to have a relationship with Him. And I want you to know He wants a relationship with you. He loves you more than I could describe. And then not only do I want you to have a relationship, but I want you to go on to maturity. I want you to grow in Christ, to know Him better. You talk to him as we close in this prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for each one here today, for I know that you love each one so much. And I know that you want a relationship with everyone here today. And I pray that no one here would be deceived by the devil and have the imitation and fail to have the real thing. And may no one here have the counterfeit, but I pray that each one here would have the real thing real faith in Jesus Christ. May everyone here be able to say, yes, I know, for I've received Christ, and I have received the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. And then, Lord, may we follow you and grow. And may others be able to see our faith demonstrated by our lives. How I pray in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen.